Hey, back from more Shakespeare. Believe it or not, we are still in Act 1, Scene 6 of Cymbeline because there's some important stuff that's going on here. If you remember, Giacomo is sort of hitting on Imogen, well, actually, rather blatantly hitting on Imogen because he has made a bet with her husband, her banished husband, Posthumus, that he can bed her. So he shows up and he lays it on real thick. And yesterday we had her standing up for herself against the sexual harassment. And today his response is to say, Oh, happy Leonatus, I may say the credit that thy lady hath of thee deserves thy trust and thy most perfect goodness, her assured credit. Blessed live you long, a lady to the worthiest star that ever country called his, and you his mistress, only for the most most worthiest fit, give me your pardon. I have spoke this to know if your affiance were deeply rooted, and shall make your lord that which he is new or, and he is one, the truest mannered, such a holy witch that he enchants societies into him, half of all men hearts are his. So, yeah, he, he backs down and he plays the, oh, I was just testing you card to, to be able to get away with his very inappropriate behavior and after after just a little while Imogen forgives him and they move on about their day and the important thing to know from the end of this scene because I think I think this is the last monologue that we have in this scene let me just double check that real quick yep um the last bit that happens at the end of this scene is that Giacomo says oh and and by the way I have a really precious jewel that I'm traveling with and I need to put it somewhere safe for the evening. So do you have a safe or something that I could put it in? And she's like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll keep it in my bedroom with me overnight just so that you know that it's absolutely safe. So keep this in mind. He's going to store something in her bedroom overnight. Plot point. But more on that later. We'll see you tomorrow.